Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jen with Happy Humble Home. So today it's Friday, so it is time to do our weekly update. Now, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my camera to set and it's slowly, like ever so slowly, just starting to fall. So, we'll get through this though. Week has been a pretty good week. <clears throat> I really haven't done a lot of anything, especially in the flower bed, because it's been one of those weeks where it's raining just enough to mess everything up pretty much. Um, it is warm out here today, y'all. It's raining just enough to mess everything up as far as being able to work in the flower bed goes. It'll be nice and sunny, and then it'll come a nice little rainstorm, and then nice and sunny. So, yeah, we're also at the point where we kind of really need to move around the dirt and try to get that pushed over or get some more dirt in there but right now it's all just kind of muddy so I'm not really doing anything with that hopefully this though this coming week we're supposed to have very little chance of rain at all this coming week so hopefully we'll be able to really get in there and knock some of that out and be done with it it's what my hope is but we shall see uh, also as far as the vegetables goes I did figure out it was our dog that was getting in my vegetable garden or in the carrot bed I don't really know why she's wanting to sit in the carrot bed all the time, but yeah, she is. So I don't think she's messed up any of the plants. I haven't seen any plant trampled or dug up, so that's a good thing. But I'm hoping that once the carrots get bigger, she won't want to go in there just because it will be more crowded. And once we planted the tomatoes in there, she hasn't wanted to go in there at all. And there's probably plenty of room she could still walk around them but she doesn't want to because it's not worth it. Um, so hopefully that's how she'll be with the carrots too is what I'm hoping once the stem, once the green part starts coming up more. Um, but we do have quite a bit coming up so I'm really happy about that. My tomatoes are looking really, really good. They're starting to flower a lot and I see a lot of unopened buds still. So that's very helpful and they've really shot up. I did manage to get the metal cages around them last week like I was wanting to. And then my taters, they're still dying off. They're still partially green. They've still got a good amount of green on them. So hopefully pretty soon though, we will be able to get those done. So I'm really hopeful that the taters will all go well. And like I said, I do have a video in the works once I get that harvest done. Um, also, I typically would always have my boys read 30 minutes a day, at least Monday through Friday, just during the summer, just to kind of keep them reading still during Hey, bud. During the summer months. Um, so, but this year I decided to do something different. I haven't done anything like that this year. So instead, what I've done was um, on one of the homeschool Facebook pages that I'm on, I had seen a lady post about a summer bingo and that she was paying like cold heart cash for her prizes. And so I kind of took that off that. I didn't use the exact same card. I made up my own card. But we kind of took that similar thing, that concept. So there are 12 possible bingos is how the board is a five by five with a free space. Um, so the boys can get 12 bingos would fill up the entire card. And what they have to do, they have a prize for one bingo, six bingos, and then a full card. The full card has to be completed by August 8th before they go to bed because we're starting school August 9th. So it goes from I started this a couple days ago and it'll go all the way. So they had brought out 60 days to complete the summer bingo. Now, my kids are older. They are going into fourth and fifth, uh, fourth and sixth grade. So I didn't want to make this super easy where they could complete it in a week or two. I do want it to be more challenging. So we did make the boxes a little bit harder and the books do have to be approved by either mom or dad to make sure that they're a thick enough book or there's enough reading that would justify them coloring in that box because our prizes are for one bingo they get a special treat from a local coffee shop that makes like really cool fancy milkshake type things so they can get one of those um, and then for their prize number two is they get we limit our kids anyways to how much TV they each get during a day so we've extended their TV time once they get six bingos for one day they have extended TV time and then for um, for if they complete the full card 
then they get a nice large cash prize at the end for the full bingo. So it's for our kids, it is very, very good prizes. And since it is very good prizes and we know where their reading levels are at, then that's why we did make it more, like I said, more challenging. So for those prizes, they're gonna, we're gonna make it more challenging now. The summer reading bingo, it is 100% optional. If they don't wanna do it, they don't have to. If they wanna win those prizes and do it, then that's fine. But no, we will not do. So the summer reading, uh, like before I would make them read for 30 minutes a day, I'm not making them do this bingo. They know it is 100% optional. If it's not worth it to them, then that's fine. They won't do it. Um, that's pretty much it. So I mean, I'll have them read during the school year and all too. Or if, you know, if they feel like reading, but they don't necessarily want to fill in one of the boxes, that's fine. Like we still go to the library quite a bit. They still like to get books just to read. So I will actually share um, an actual picture of the bingo card whenever I get home to kind of give you an idea of how I did it. I did create mine through wordmint.com. I'll leave a description or I'll leave the link in the description box below. It is really good. That's how I've used to make like study guides for units. I've made unit tests for the good and beautiful science units. I've made up unit tests off of wordmint. I really like it because it's a really good resource on how to, an easy way to make up true, false, multiple choice, um, short answer, questions, tests, kind of stuff. You can make crosswords, um, word searches, unscramble words. It's, it's really a lot of fun. So uh, it's been, it's a really good resource. So that's what I used to make the bingo cards because I knew I did have that option to make a bingo card on there. Now, gotten, I have not placed that final school order yet because there was an issue with shipping those boxes or shipping those books from my friends to my house. So I've got to, um, whenever we can, I'm gonna actually meet her and pick those up. And then once I get those boxes, or once I get those books, then I can go ahead and place my final book order. And that's really about it. I mean, I don't think like flower bed, the vegetable garden, just life in general, it's going really well. We have vacation, vacation Bible school coming up this week for three days. We're only doing a three day one, which is different. Well, technically four nights, but the fourth night is a family night. So like just three work nights. So it's a name and name too. Yeah. Um, so we have vacation Bible school coming up. Watch my video that I posted earlier this week about how I organized our kids' schoolwork. Definitely go check that out. I'm really happy with it that really cleaned off all their desks from books that they don't need. Cool. That really cleaned off their desks from books uh, or cleaned off their desk with books that they no longer need and kind of got all that straightened up so it's not just so not as cluttered I guess um, and it helped to get rid of any books that I'm not going to be needing currently as well to get the bookshelf a little bit cleared off and I also said I love to hear from y'all have you ever done like a summer bingo if you did I would love to see a copy of the card or kind of what you're incorporated maybe some cool other prizes I would just love to hear how y'all incorporate school through this summer and all because I've never been one to do like summer workbooks I know a lot of parents do even when my kids were in public school, I didn't do the summer workbooks. I would more focus just on the reading. And every now and then I might get out a sheet of paper that has like 10 or 15 math problems. And I have them solve them real quick. And that's about it. So I don't, I don't go real in depth with how much I want them to do school-wise in the summer. I kind of let them have their summer. So. Also, I don't know if y'all have noticed like in some of the videos that I have really awesome specialized cups made i always get them from stephanie at a mama's work she is a mom of three boys she's a wife mom of three boys and she completely hand makes these and i ordered my scarlet witch cup and all i told her was i want a scarlet witch cup from the marvel universe and that's all i told her and i got this in today and y'all i don't i don't have my wonder woman pin with me or else i'd show y'all that but look at the detail 
get those shiny and then on the bottom I still got my spiral like yes so I will leave a code um I will leave her website in the description box below and also be sure to use my promo code so that way she knows that I sent you and that y'all can also get 10% off of your order. She does things like she does these awesome cups. She also has some cups that are more like ready to ship. And then she also does car coasters. I gotta find my car coaster if I can get one out. She also does like these really cool car coasters. Here, there you go. And I actually ordered some of these car coasters for one of my friends that I had in a special design. And she also does, she also does, um, like I said, the really cool. And then she also does like letter keychains, um, which is really cool. And she does license plates, With or not, not like an actual license plate, but like the, um, the license plate frames, I guess, is that what you call like the edges, the edges around that you use to hold the license plate on? That's what she does. Specialized one of those two. So, like I said, I will leave. Um, I'll leave that code up on the screen, and then I will leave her website in the box and then description box. Um, but anyways, I'd love to hear from y'all. So leave me comments below. I love to hear from y'all, and I will check back in with y'all later. Bye.